I have this battery here, it's kind of old. I'm going to be checking the water inside of it. Perhaps I can get a little more performance out of it. The battery typical goes, goes low on water just over time, it just evaporates. It's a mix of uh, sulfuric acid and uh, distilled water. It's probably distilled water, it's probably from uh, Walmart, about like a dollar or less. Get these caps off. There we go, this way. Has the opening. I thought they came off a different way. This little holder can kind of get in the way. But, whoa, this one's actually full. Or over full. Interesting. There were bubbles coming out of it. Okay. Get a good view of her plates, though. Looks okay. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to see this thing low, but nope. This one seems to be sufficiently filled. Interesting. Here we go. Yeah. There's no air bubbles in there. No, it's filled up to the top. So that's good. Alright, we don't have to do it. But you literally, there's a little like, um, when you look down on this, it should be at the bottom of like, with those little fingers that stick down. And then you can just check the other side. So that's full. Alright, and our battery, you can also get a good view of the plates on your battery. Just to see how sulfide it is. This one doesn't look too bad. But still, it doesn't really hold much of a charge though. Hmm. This side, same thing. Again, this battery I just charged. I'm not sure if the water level will go down when it's more discharged. I don't know. I would imagine when there's a chemical reaction going on, the water level would change. So that's how you check your water level. Seems to be there. I used to uh, work at a place that used to make people do this on their golf carts. And uh, they didn't even give them distilled water and they wonder why the batteries went dead all the time. Let's go fill it up with hose water. And they wanted people to do this. They didn't give them any protective gloves. No protective eyewear. And that was um, Cox Automotive. Such as um, subsidiary of Cox Communications. Or um, like Auto Trader. It's the same company in this horrible place. Let's go check this one. Maybe this one's low. This battery's out of warranty anyway. Oh, this one is low. Is it? No, a little bit. A little bit in that plate. A little low. So we'll go top off this one. Again, I'm thinking that one might be high on the other side. Just because, um... I charged it. This one I haven't charged. But as you see, you look down there at the light. It's low. We're going to fill it up with distilled water. Very simple to do. Just don't drop anything down there. And wear gloves and eye protection. Yeah, you could use like a dropper or something, but I'm just gonna fill this up with a uh, a cup of water and top it off in there. Make sure like it's clean too around as well. Just slowly pour it in a little more. I need it. It's a little more. I might need a little more than that. We're not quite there yet. Almost. Let me go carefully top this thing off. My battery dies in a week. We know why. It kind of, when you mix it in there too, it kind of has like a little reaction going on it, it seems. Hopefully that's distilled water. Yeah, don't use tap water. And don't work for Cox Communications or Automotive. Auto Trader on their companies or auction because they will make you do this. Be dangerous. That looks good right there. This is fun. Ideally, you know, when the plates show water, that's like the worst thing. Oops. And, uh, well, at least that cap is clean. If you had dirt, it would have been bad. I think we're good on this one, though. It's kind of hard to see. i got to get a better flashlight. And, uh, yeah, anyone can do this. You kind of have a marking, too. An open hole on this side. You can kind of judge when it's starting to go up those fingers. And commonly, yeah, over time, this can happen. Or if you buy a battery, too, sometimes the things are shooking around. And they lose a little acid. And, yeah, they could be low. 
to buying a brand new battery that's low on water. And my bumper's falling apart over here, you hear that? Got a new strip somewhere. Should have bought two of those. Haha. <laughs> what you do when you're done is just make sure that puppy snapped on good. There's no rubber seal or anything. I don't know if it's uh, bad once the water's too high. I suppose it would. It's probably just gonna, when the battery charges, I would imagine you're gonna get some spewing. So that's not nice. You get a sulfuric acid and water. Um, water mix. How are you looking over here? Eh, this one's not too bad. A little low in the corner. The middle one seems to be fine. This one actually might have some little corrosion going on over here. On that plate in the corner, you see some shit in there happening. Yep, a little sulf sulfide old battery. Damn. So same thing, you could just use a little cup so you can uh, monitor how much water you're putting in. Just make it even. And if you're curious, you see those little holes on top of the cap? Those are vent holes. And then whatever acid it gets too high, it just um, emits on the edge. And that's how you get that powder substance that forms in your battery. That looks better though. And there really only were two that were kind of low. Not that terribly low, but if it makes this battery last any longer. I don't know. I'll check your state of charge. See if it changed anything. I put that on backwards? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's in the same way. Yeah, it only will go in one way anyway. Let's make sure it's seated down all the way. So that's how you do it. Easy as that. Yay. I never... I think I did that once in my lifetime, maybe. Maybe not. I think some people who recycle batteries... Yeah, this one I'm going to come back to tomorrow after it's charged and check. Um, there's some people who recycle batteries. I think they just recycle the electrolyte. They put new sulfuric acid and a distilled water solution in there. I don't know. Something like that. Batteries cost a lot. So, hopefully, uh, yeah, that helps someone if they want to check your water level. Again, I'm thinking because if it's high like that, I just charge that battery. So I'm thinking that you probably shouldn't do it on a battery like right after you charge it. The hydrogen gas is probably high too, and the battery will um, explode in your face when it very well could. Explosive gas is hydrogen gas. No open flames because it will blow up. Even when you spark the battery over here, hook a battery charger to it, you know, if it's gassing. Oof, it can blow up. I charge my battery. I usually put the ground somewhere far away when I do it, or I charge it from the auxiliary post if equipped. So that's my video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check your battery um, water if you want. Just use distilled water. Do not use tap water like that moron place Cox Communications or Automotive did. And they were wondering why they kept killing batteries. And I tested their batteries. Joke time. They tested their batteries by sparking them together sparks when flying. That's how they tested their batteries. They're too cheap to get a voltmeter. Alright. That's what happens in America. Check your water level. It's fun. Expired battery. Could have got a free one. And uh January of uh twenty eighteen? I think so.